that voting it was a vote of no confidence to the minister it has consequences i would begin to imagine how ambassadors would be dealing with it our good friends on high moral ground the united states the eu of which we shall be appealing to them that indeed the national assembly has passed a vote of no confidence in that alone it speaks volumes it speaks volumes and i think the minister has got even to be here today this motion is not about me this motion is not about the national assembly i had some good friends in meru saying we are targeted no we have very many good merus including my good friend who is at times my lawyer he's a good meru he's a good meru it's not about merus merus are good people and i want it to be understood in this committee it is not about kenya kwanza honorable chair it's not about asmio it is honorable franklin mithika nturi versus the republic of kenyan farmers and diaspora i did indicate i come from a border town ugandans buy things from kenya kenyans buy things from uganda my good sister would know this nahayo the iron lady would understand this the ugandans came and bought fertilizer from kenya subsidized what should they do what should they do i have looked at the document submitted by my good friend mythical inturi and it's nothing more than a love letter from a jilted lover that these are grievous matters of national importance to be reduced to love matters ukiachwa hachika hachika it is indeed unfair to keep dragging the good lady my sister Marianne into these matters she has a right kukukata kukukubali allow her to proceed on with her life including the honorable bocha that it should be unfair that your private matters should keep coming up any time serious matters are raised the good lady should be left in peace because she has a life she has a family she has children and she needs to move on <clears throat> we shall speak this is a select committee we shall say that which we want to say and that which we think is important to this committee i did indicate yesterday that very many people approached me to drop this motion i refused and in fact i told one of them i'm different from the honorable mythical inturi it should be understood Honorable Chair, at the Honorable Mithika Linturi started a, a process such as this. This was going to be the second one in the new constitutional order. Had he been serious, he went ahead, he collected signatures, it was put on the order paper, his motion, what did he do? He went to Naivash, he was given money, and love yeah. that indeed it is a demonstration we've made it very clear that any statements made by a witness the sponsor or the respondent must be substantiated allegations have been made about going to the impasha money being exchanged 
But unfortunately, we do not have any substitution on that. Uh, let's not use this opportunity to malign one another. I think we should also be quiet and we have to be Honorable Chair, it is indeed in public. It is indeed in, in, in National Assembly records that a motion to impeach one Anway Guru appeared on the order paper. It is indeed in records of the courts in the divorce case of the Honorable Franklin Mithika Linturi and, and Aldai Member of Parliament, Marianne Keitani, as to where the member... Honorable... Wamboka, I think you should limit yourself to the subject. Well guided, well guided, Chair. <clears throat> but Madam Chair, I'm a serious Kenyan. I had to do this, and I have done this. Those who don't know, I'm defined by Bayaya, Bala, Banyangali and Watachoni clans. That definition, those subtribes cannot allow me to be bought, cannot allow me to be subverted. That is why we are here. It's because I'm serious and I will die for the farmers of Kenya. <clears throat> the Honorable Minister has dragging me in straight. Uh, Dragging in, <clears throat> in uh, dragging strangers in the name of my alleged affairs, which cannot negate the fact that innocent Kenyans are suffering. I do want to understand by you saying that uh, so and so is Jack's wife, is a honorable member's wife. How does that relate to the suffering of Kenyans? How does that relate? And if indeed honorable chair of uh, justice committee is, is fair. He's only seeing one side. When we speak, why should the minister bring, bring, no, 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 I'm, re I'm reacting. He, it, is, it is in his submissions. I don't want this committee to be turned, this investigation to be turned into love affair <coughs> Please limit yourself to your motion. Yes, Honorable Chair, but it must be noted and be on record sure. that in his submissions... Yeah, point of order uh, by Honorable Rachel, Dr. Chair, I did not uh, intend to inter uh, interfere with the um, statements that uh, the Honorable Amboka is making, but uh, I would like to raise a matter on standing order 77 concerning the language that we, that we use. And 77 says, all proceedings in the house shall be conducted in Kiswahili, English, or in Kenyan Sign Language. Twice, Honorable Chair, the Honorable Wamboka has, has uh, mentioned uh, words in a language that we did not understand, and I thought that he was going to translate so that he can understand. This may make us miss some of the information that you'd like to, to tell us. So is it in order for him to use that language which I'm not able to tell which language it is because we're not able to, to understand that particular portion? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Madam Chair. What I meant is I would wish that uh, my ears become my sitting apparatus so that I cannot hear all this. That's what I meant but well guided. <clears throat> Madam Chair, I've got one wife, which is public knowledge. This is not a forum to bequeath me with imaginary wives. And in any case, does it matter? I'm on this honorable chair because he brought it. If you look at his submissions, it's there. Point of order, Chair. Point of order by Honorable J. Yeah, I believe it is very important that if you make a ruling, uh, the Honorable Member understands that you are directing him on what to con confine himself on. And Honorable Chair, if, if someone disregards that ruling, 
then you should be able to also call them out of order. Well guided. Well guided. <coughs> well guided. But just to note, this is not a divorce case. Yes. Madam Chair, we are discussing the conduct of Honorable Mithika Lito. That we want him removed from the office. Out of this world, I was just imagining, when he was being uh, interrogated to be minister, he said he has in excess of 30 cases in court. We are all Kenyans, members of parliament. Why him? Why him? Why him? We are speaking. We have a saying in the Luya land. The hyena told the stone. You remember the case of J.M. Karuki when they were investigating his death. Mwangale told his house. It's a house of records. The hyena told the stone that even if you keep quiet, you've heard me. Honorable Mithika Linturi, even if through the chair, even if you keep quiet, you've heard the cries of the Kenyan people. Thank you, Madam Chair. Now call my lawyer, uh, the Honorable Dr. Haminwa, to give the balance in my minutes. Asante Nisan, Mungu Ambariki.